This right here is the DJI Mini 2, and this is hands down one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I own to date. It is an amazing piece of equipment, so I'm gonna be giving it a full review. So I'm gonna be going over the pros and the cons of using this tiny yet powerful little drone. Let's roll the intro. So welcome back to the channel guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video, let me introduce myself. My name is Connor Wells, I am a photographer, videographer and podcast producer and I make videos about those three subjects every single week. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. Now I've been using the DJI Mini 2 for just over two months now and I've got some thoughts on it. It is an incredible piece of kit and it's actually a joy to use. It's it's easy to use. Now, I used to have a drone and that was the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. And my God, that drone was incredible. It was really, really cool, but it just became very, very impractical. It was huge. New flight restrictions came in, which means I couldn't use it for commercial work. And it was just very, very bulky to carry around. It had to be carried in that box. And you know, everyone would know where it was because it had DJI written on the front of it. So it was just not convenient to use. Whereas with this, Convenience is definitely one of the key aspects of this. So I'm gonna go over some of the pros and some of the cons to using the DJI Mini 2. Now the first pro has to be the size. This drone is absolutely tiny. Like, give me a sec. This right here is my iPhone 13 Pro. It has got a case on, but that doesn't really add to too much size to it. And this is the DJI Mini 2. Like, my phone is bigger than this drone. Huh, that rhymed. Like, how mad is that? The phone which you use to fly this thing is bigger than the drone itself. Absolutely unreal. This drone is also incredibly lightweight. This drone is 249 grams. Now here in the UK, most drone restrictions come in if a drone is 250 grams or more, which means you have to pay to use it for commercial use. You're restricted of where you can fly. It gets very, very complicated, but DJI did an absolute middle finger to those laws and they brought in a drone that was 249 grams, one gram lighter than when the restrictions actually come in and take place. That is nuts. This is so convenient. It means I don't have to pay the a thousand pounds a year here in the UK to use this drone for commercial use. That is absolutely a lifesaver, really. That's pretty, pretty good. The next pro is the Fly More kit. Now, the Fly More kit is actually really, really good. I don't really take the drone out of this bag when I'm taking it with me. I don't put it in a camera bag compartment. I actually just keep it in this, this bag because it's nice and small. It can fit in my Peter McKinnon bag from Nomatic. And you get a lot in it. You know, you get spare propeller guards, you get all the cables, you get more batteries as well. We'll touch on batteries later, but you get like the dual charger thing or triple charger thing, which is which is great. No faults really with the fly more kit. The next pro I want to talk about is the 4K quality. The 4K quality of this DJI Mini is absolutely fantastic. It is so sharp. It's really, really great to color grade. Obviously there's no log or D-log or DJI log, whatever it's called, I don't know. I pretty much film everything in the standard picture profile anyway. I'm filming this in the standard picture profile. It's just easier, convenient, works smarter, not harder. So. 
I love the fact that it films in a standard picture profile and grading this footage is an absolute joy. I never find myself struggling to, to grade this footage. It's really, really easy to work with and the file sizes are very manageable as well. Now this drone, I have never ever lost signal. I've never lost transmission. It handles flight really, really well. It does really well with the winds. I think it handles somewhere between 18 to 21 mile an hour wind. And I have flown in fairly heavy windy conditions before and you don't even notice it. The gimbal on this is incredible like there's no shake whatsoever even when you put it in sport mode it's just absolutely phenomenal the picture quality and the steadiness of this drone is is absolutely fantastic now I mentioned batteries, now I bought the Fly More kit and you get free batteries with that and that is definitely a need because I just enjoy using this drone so much and you, I believe DJI claim, claim you get 31 minutes of battery life and flight time with this. I'd say that's around maybe like 25, 27 but to be fair I have been flying this in, in the winter and obviously batteries die in the cold so I'm looking forward to seeing how this handles in warmer conditions and um, to see you know whether we can reach a 31 minute flight time but I've never found myself running out of, of time with, with this drone. Um, the batteries don't seem to die quick, it, it goes quite slowly, it's, it's, which is a good thing. And the last thing I will touch on is, because I bought the Fly More kit, you can buy this separately, but this propeller guard is absolutely fantastic, it keeps the propellers all in place, because without that they'd just be flapping about all over the place, and nobody wants that, because they're, they're quite thin and I think they could easily snap. I am glad I got the Fly More kit, because um, I've just got some reassurance, you know, having the spare propellers, considering how thin and lightweight they are, and how easily breakable they look. I'm glad I've got this protector. Now let's move on to the cons of this drone. And I'm gonna be honest, there's there's not many. I, I, I really do enjoy this drone. I think there's, I've only got about four things that I think could be improved and things that can't actually be improved, but there we go. Let's move on to the cons. So I think the first con that a lot of people are disappointed with, with this drone, considering the price of it, it's not the cheapest, is the fact that there's no active track in this drone. Now, if you look at drones like the DJI Mavic 2 or the Air 2S um, and the Mavic 3 series, obviously the Mavic 3 is just insane but they've all got active track now apparently this drone couldn't handle active track because it would overheat and I, I will admit this drone does get quite warm when you're flying it or you've got it on the table and you're downloading stuff to your phone we'll touch on that in a minute but it's not the biggest deal that it doesn't have active track I mean for me I see it as a way to improve myself as a pilot that I don't have to rely on active track and I shouldn't rely on active track to be a good drone pilot and you know I think I'm going to use that to my advantage and it will help improve me as as I go on and as I use this more. The next con with this drone is the fact that you cannot control the aperture on this drone like it's stuck at f2.8 I believe Correct me if I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong, but I believe it's f2.8 and you know that's great, it's a nice fast aperture of that, but you can't change it. So if you're in really really bright conditions, the only thing you can either do is switch it to auto and that will change the exposure, or you can do what I did and buy a set of ND filters. Now. Uh, these ND filters are made by Sunny Life. I've never heard of them before, but they were the best rated ones on Amazon. So I'll leave a link to them in the description. And they've been working out great, but it would be nice to not always rely on the ND filters because yeah, it'd be nice to just change the aperture so you don't have to bring the drone down, put on a new ND filter, send it back up and vice versa. It just becomes a little bit long, if you know what I mean. So unfortunately, because of the size of the sensor and the camera in this drone, that is something that cannot be fixed. Now, one thing that I would love to be fixed is being able to download the raw files, the raw photos onto your phone from the DJI app. Now, all you can do at the moment is, the, the, the app is great, don't get me wrong. I love the DJI Fly app. It's fantastic. Some people don't like it, I like it. I've never had a problem connecting to the drone, but I would just love to be able to download the raw files to my phone rather than plugging the SD card in or plugging the drone into a computer and airdropping them to my phone. If I just want them nice and quick, that would be great, but all you can download is the cache JPEG photos and they're not the best quality, particularly when you want to like edit those photos in Lightroom. So I hope that comes in a future update. You never know, I don't think they it will, but you know, fingers crossed that, that would be fantastic. But DJI, if you're watching, give us the roars. Give the roar. And my final con with this drone is this thing here. The 
gimbal guard, the camera guard, the lens cover, whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't like it. It just feels very ooh, plasticky. I hate putting it on. I don't mind taking it off because you can lift it on like that, but putting it back on, this bit's fine, but then it just feels like it's going to push the gimbal and the fact that you've got to like, oh, snap it in. Like I wish that would be made better. I don't know if there's any third party ones that are a little bit better, but you know, maybe you could pinch and the things go in, but oh, I, I don't like that. It just feels like I'm going to snap the drone or something and I, I don't like that at all. Um, I always get um, quite anxious putting the uh, the gimbal guard back on. Uh, it's, it's quite unnerving, but maybe there's a third party one i'll have to look into it but that you know if they ever make a dji mini 3 maybe with active track that would be cool i don't really like this anyway to sum up lots of people have classed this drone as a beginner drone i actually disagree it's great that it's classed as a beginner drone because it doesn't come into all those laws and flight restrictions and stuff that's here in the uk but the fact that you can get crystal clear sharp 4k gradable footage not to mention fantastic photo quality of this drone for a beginner drone i think is absolutely fantastic yes the price might be a little bit expensive i'll put prices on screen now for the fly more option and then the drone and controller on its own but i think this drone will eventually pay for itself and for me the drone already has paid for itself with the work that i've used it for so i think this is an absolutely brilliant drone for people that are looking to get into flying a drone whether it's just a hobby or if they're looking for a small drone to travel with for their travel vlogs or use for commercial work thank you very much for watching this review of the dji mini 2 if you got some value from it don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video right over there